if you see a weevil eating a weevil, then you get to know that beans are over. So as a member of parliament, of course, I'm worried where the trends, where our security is going. I'm worried about the future of this country. We live in fear. We have a lot of killings which are unprecedented. And if you see security operatives arresting security, former security operatives or civil serving security operatives, then you know, you get to know that we are really in a turmoil. This situation calls no one to celebrate. Why? There is a lot of fog in the skies. And if we can't sit down as legislators, but of course I know we can't give a lasting solution. We are not security gurus. These are trendy gurus who have been serving, and some of them, all, in fact, the majority of them come from the same regions. They are friends. Some of them studied together. They have lived together. They have been sharing the cake of this country together. IMT, when they can start arresting one another. So I'm, I'm, I'm not a victor, neither do I need to celebrate, but I'm just worried about the future of this country. The security developments in this country are rather disturbing. Nobody is sure of what is happening next. And it doesn't help for government to choose this time to carry out those arrests. If indeed there were problems with the concerned officers, why didn't government raise those issues early enough? Because they are part of the system. And now pointing out and picking out on individuals is running away from duty. Government still has the duty and responsibility to Ugandans to tell us why now? We shall at an appropriate time here in Parliament demand for a comprehensive statement from government. A lot is desired. First of all, the nasty actions that were made during that time against other political activities were being blessed by the government. To me, what is food for the goose is food for the gander. It is important that the head of state looks at the gander as Uganda.